there. Today I wanted to share with you my thoughts and how to use a derma roller or also called micro needling. So firstly what I'm about to show you is very different in its strength to potentially what someone like myself or you know a, a clinician is using in treatment. So firstly what is micro needling? So this is an at home use roller. It comes in a kit like this. You need to keep this packaging, okay, because when you use it, you're going to finish using it and put it back on here. As you can see, it looks like a little roller. There are microscopic needles on this head. The length of needle on this is a lot shorter than what is going to be used in a professional clinical treatment, okay? So this one is purposely for home use. You still have to be very careful with using them at home, okay? How does it work? You know, you might actually think putting needles into my skin, surely that's a bad idea. You'd have thought so. But what I particularly like about microneedling is it's not using any chemicals to stimulate your own collagen production. So basically, by using these minute needles over the surface of the skin, it's creating a wound response. Okay, so it's that healing response in the skin that then stimulates your own growth factors and boosts that collagen and elastin production, which is what we want, you know, from the age of about 24 onwards, that is actually on the decline already. So using something like this is perfect for that surface smoothness. So if you have scarring, the wrinkles appearing, wherever that might be, where you've got irregular texture, that's where microneedling comes into play. So you might go to a, a clinic or a salon and have a course of professional derma roller microneedling kind of treatments. You will get downtime with that. They do apply an anesthetic cream to the skin so that you know you can work deeper than what you can do at home. However, using something like this at home, once you know how to safely use it, you can incorporate it into your at-home routine. So I'm actually going to do this on my own skin. I want you to kind of visibly see how the skin responds and kind of the movements to, to do. So firstly, this is a brand new one. If this was one that you'd used before, you'd kind of kept it in its packaging. You need to perfectly cleanse the skin first. Use a wash, a gentle wash. I don't want any balms or creams. We don't want any residue on the surface of the skin. So we've perfectly cleansed the skin, and I have cleansed my skin before. Clean hands as well. No product at all. And we're going to start on the jaw. So I've gone backwards and forwards about six times. And then I'm gonna to move to the next area. And up again. And again, I'm going to circle around. You can already see my skin is coming up pink. I'm then going to crisscross that. So I've gone in one direction. I'm then going in the other. Please don't press in with your rollers. It's a delicate roller over the surface. If you press in, it's going to be working deeper, which we want to be able to kind of control the depth that these are, these are working in. So you can already see that I'm kind of coming up a little bit pink in that area. What I'm feeling is a mild, a mild sensation. So there isn't any, it doesn't hurt. It's almost a little bit annoying more than anything else. So a nice smooth motion and then other direction. Ideally, I would be doing this in the evening. So I cleanse your skin, take off all your makeup. So I'm just going over a few different directions. It is actually great for supporting and reducing the appearance of pores. It's not gonna change the size of your pores, that's you genetically, but it's just gonna help tighten the, 
the visible appearance of, which is why it's always helpful to go over the nose. And you know, maybe you've got larger pores in this area. So I'm just making sure I've covered those areas. Then I'm going onto the forehead. And I'm just going up and down. I find the forehead almost wants to make me sneeze. I don't know why, but it does. And across this way. So if this was a clinical length, you'd actually get tiny little blood spots, but because the length is safe to use at home, you're not going to be getting that. Please be careful if you have retinol in your routine. Um, you know, this is going to be working deeper and you've obviously got kind of younger, fresher baby skin cells closer to the surface. Focusing on my frown lines. And I'm going to also go across my top lip. Makes me want to sneeze. So, very simply, I've done my whole face. I could also come down onto the neck. You know, we do obviously get the necklace lines on our neck, so you can kind of, you know, use it on other areas as well, even across the decollete. However, I would potentially do one night face. And then if you want to do neck and decollete, just because there is a sensation, I then kind of do that area on another night. You could now put a serum onto the skin, but there is a big caution with what you now apply to the skin. It needs to be fragrance free, particularly I like using a hyaluronic serum. Again, this is a professional hyaluronic serum. Because we've almost made some minute, and really minute, micro channels, what you now apply to the skin is gonna go in quicker. So now is not the time to be playing around with some new fangled serum that you think you might kind of like to have a play with. So I'm just gonna snap that off. Hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, it's all about holding moisture within the skin, so this works particularly well with micro-needling. I do find that this can actually make me, as you'll see, come up more flushed. So I'm going to reapply that, and there's a definite tingle with that, now that I've applied that to the skin. So I suppose a few key things to remember is, now that we've used our needling, is to clean it properly, okay? This is almost where I've seen there been some problems. You need to rinse it under hot water. You need a proper roller cleanser. And I'd spray it, keep it back in here. Put the lid back on the box, and then kind of save that until next time you use it. Dependent on your skin type, you can use a micro needling at home, potentially two to three times a week. It depends purely on your skin type. If you've got a rosacea or sensitive skin, I wouldn't really be using this at home, it's not gonna be the best thing for you. Uh, and also an active acne, this isn't gonna be the best thing for you. However, if you have acne scarring, then this is gonna be good for you. So, you know, we have to kind of use a little bit of uh, common sense as well with what skin type it's gonna be best for. The idea is that you use it potentially for kind of six months, and then you buy a replacement. The little needles in there, they are really sharp and kind of with continual use, even though it's just going into the skin, which is soft, they're not gonna be as sharp and as effective as when you first bought it. So that is another thing as well. Be cautious of what you can buy off Amazon. There are a lot of derma rollers and micro needling things out there. Please, please be cautious about what you purchase. You know, it is better to invest in a proper derma roller type product than buy something that's inferior, maybe it's not sterile in its first place. Uh, so that is another kind of word of caution. I hope you found that helpful. I hope I've also answered as many questions as I can with being able to do it effectively and safely at home. It really does make a difference to your at-home skincare routine. Uh, but I fully appreciate it's not for everyone. I hope you found that helpful. Please do put any questions below.